They asked me if I wrote songs. And over the years, I've had a few here and there, nothing special. Um, a lot of them were instrumental, so it's kind of hard to do it an instrumental when you've got missing parts like drums, keyboards, other guitars, but that's okay. So then I started thinking, what could I do? So I conned her into, I mean, convinced her into, uh, I wrote back in 2008, 2009, I started writing children's songs. So tonight, for the first time, I'm going to, or actually just a second, I'm going to showcase a couple of the children's songs that are wrote. She, she helped me finish them out. It, I never really ever got a chance to finish them. Right. So I've been sitting there in the since 2009. And, so open up the kid in your heart for right now, because we're going to do three kids' songs. I really didn't write. I'm just doing a, a remake of what uh, I didn't know at the time. You couldn't get it on your net back then, like you yeah, know. I think it's your own version. So of it I kind of yeah. did a rearrangement of the next one. But we all know this song from when we were kids. <laughs> Who remembers the Carmel? Um, uh, uh, Mr. Softy Ice Cream Trucks. <laughs> there you go. You're old, Dave. And we all <laughs> sang that goofy little song. I guess you know at the time I don't remember where I picked it up at, but you're gonna know it as soon as I start this song. So I decided to look it up, and the song originally was 1927, 
and there's a whole bunch of lyrics to it by Howard Johnson, Billy Maul, and Robert A. King. Turned out that it was a melody song. And 1944 became a jazz standard with George Lewis and Jim Robinson. So this is kind of like my own take on it. Uh, let me get my note. Wish me luck in this. I just started singing recently. Uh, what's the first line? I, Are you kidding me? Ready? <laughs> no, that's not it. Okay, yeah, right? Right, yeah. Should I count four? Yeah. All right. Three, four. Ice, ice cream, cream for ice. ice cream. No. Oh, no. Ice, ice cream. cream. Oh, 
survivors. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, probably one more I'm going to do that uh, I wrote, oh God, many, 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 many. By the way, I only borrowed for like uh, only a dollar because I didn't take it for a whole hour. But thank you. Buy the house, pal. I appreciate it. By the way, Dave, you're a tough act to follow, man. It That's, sure is. Uh, wow. That was amazing. Yes, he, does, he always does such a great job. Mm. Um, That's awesome. So anyway, I... Um, I put this one on, uh, I really wanted to put this on 45 a long, long time ago. It goes like this. Help me! Thank you. Now, the thing, the thing about the 45 is, okay, when you play it normal speed, help me! But then you stick it at 70 out and it goes, help me, help me, help me! So I decided to put it on 33 and, and a third. <laughs> and I say, help me, please. <laughs> so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to redo the song. And I'm going to do a whole brand new version of this. Oh, well. It'll go something like this. Help me, help me, help me, help me, help me. Or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Uh, okay. You can help me write it, okay? Oh, great. Thanks. <laughs> we got one that we're going to do. Um, and I got it out of a movie just recently. I was watching this movie. It's, it's an. Um, kind of an old song, and I didn't really know much about it. But it was in Italian. So I presented it to her, the English version, of course, and then I told her, geez, I wish you know, you figure out the way of doing the song in Italian. Little did I know, what was your answer to that? I can read Italian, French, and German, so I don't know what it means, but I can read it. <laughs> so the original was um, 1979. Umberto Tozzi. Umberto Tozzi. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> and you're all going to know the song as soon as you know, kick into this thing. But it, to find out how some of the stuff gets started, and you know, strictly by accident, because I saw the movie uh, Book Club 2, and it's in the middle of the movie somewhere. Mm -hmm. The Italian version with the guy that apparently wrote it. Uh, the same year that was put out, um, a guy named Jonathan King. Yep. Transcribed it to did an English version. A version. Yeah. <laughs> in 1982, there was a young lady who had a huge hit with the song and went to number two. You ready? I'm ready.
make it look I that know. good. That's all just that, the way we rehearsed it. All that rehearsal finally paid off. Oh, terrible. Sorry about that. Oh, it was awesome. No worries. Oh, Lord. Silly. So we got, we're going to do a couple of our favorite songs. And uh, one goes like this. Are you ready? I'm ready, I think. <laughs> I think we need a drink. <laughs> yes. <laughs>
I sing one, and when I start singing, of course, she's been helping me with all the vocal stuff. So. Keep singing. <laughs> Maybe we can get her to come up and do this with us. Okay. 
Thank you.